Hey, hi everybody. I'm the founder and president of Not Blowing Smoke, and who here has heard of Not Blowing Smoke? Wow, that's a lot of people. Who here has heard about our new national campaign called No More Casualties? So a little bit of history. Last year, when I started Not Blowing Smoke, it was meant as a um, middle finger aimed at the California Department of Public Health who put out this massive seven million dollar smear campaign to inform people that vaping is worse than smoking. In 38 hours, we got Not Blowing Smoke up and running. And just last week, the British Medical Journal published a scientific paper and it was an analysis on social media and it showed that we completely demolished their campaign on Twitter within two days. They, they were not very happy with it and uh, I'm not sure what these scientists got paid to do this research but you know what? Having scientific validation of the middle finger that we gave public health, I'll take it. So, a little while after we decided to turn into a nonprofit and, and try and scale things on a national level, we figured we have to come up with a national campaign because who here has been vaping for three or four years? That's a lot of people. Re remember three, four years ago when we were walking out on the street, you were vaping, and people would go, what, what smells so nice? Remember those days? So these days, how many people come up to you and go, that's worse than smoking, that, that stuff's gonna kill you faster? Two a week. You're, you're lucky, I get about 10 a week. <laughs> Aren't you sick and tired of that? So are we. So we created a campaign called No More Casualties. Don't make me a casualty of your war on smoking. Because the people who are spending millions of dollars trying to influence public opinion are locked into an ideological war on smoking. We are not part of their war. We never asked to be part of their war. They think we're smoking. They are informing the general public that apparently we're still smoking. And it is still bad for you. In fact, it's, it's worse. So if you go to, www, if you go to nomorecasualties.org, we have print material that everybody can print from themselves, even professionally. We've got posters. We've got our first of five TV commercials. The whole plan is, if we were to raise funds centrally to try and place all these things, including the billboards, we would end up wasting a lot of time and perhaps not raising the funds. So what we've been asking is vendors, use part of your marketing budget and put it towards placing our material out there in the mainstream. That way, your money stays local, we don't have to fundraise for it, and you get to be part of this campaign, because this is not just our campaign, this is all of your campaign. So, we're asking for all of your help in order to get this out in the mainstream, so that people who don't know anything about vaping get the right information, and not the lies that our enemies are spewing. Part of that plan that we're working on is um, I'm shooting another set of commercials which um, fit in with the team. We're shooting them in April. They're going to be ready before the summer. And we're working on a deal with PBS. PBS has guaranteed us that if we come up with the funds, they'll guarantee us three million viewers. The material would be a three to five minute piece on vaping and all of it in a no more casualties, no more not blowing smoke style. It would run as filler material in between the regular PBS programming. For this, they only want $30,000. Yeah, that's it. That's the flat fee for the production and the placement. So for us, this is a no-brainer because that is so much cheaper than, and, than any form of national advertising. So we've been raising funds specifically for this side project. Get no more casualties on PBS and get those 3 million viewers and see where we can take it from there. So if you want to help with this, if you want to help us raise funds and make this a reality 
and make this all of our campaign as we intended, you should come look me up and talk to me. No more casualties! Yeah. Hey, Stefan. Yes. Uh, so, somebody's talking to me and I, I'm not seeing someone. What, uh, what can we do to help? Uh, well, you could print material for in your stores, you could inform your customers. There's actually a whole lot you can do and our website actually explains exactly what you can do. Just, just go to the website and go to how can I help and how to use this content. Hey, hey Stefan, but I have a question. Back over here. Over, oh. over here at the back. Oh, you're all the way in the back. Yeah, over here. Oh, oh over there. there there's somebody a, in the back there. How about a big check? Holy shit, that, that is a really big check. Is that good? Wow, I, I'm seeing something something really big and really green coming to the stage here. Hey guys, what's going on? It is your boy, Paul One Vaping Trucker from the VOV Network. We have come together. All of you guys have seen it over the last couple weeks. Stefan, I am more than proud to present you with this check for $1,410, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And uh, I, I'm not sure what my bank is going to do when I, when I show up with this thing. And, and uh, I'm going to roll it up and stuff. But, well, you know, we actually have a roller right down here for you. Oh, that is great. That yeah, is great. So you can make it conveniently to the bank. Perfect. That, that, cool. That'll help amazingly. And thank you so much for helping make this a reality. And you know what I hope? that a whole bunch more vendors, a whole bunch of more consumers, advocacy, advocacy groups, and everybody combined help make this a reality because it is time to take the fight back into the mainstream and fight our enemies on our own turf yes, because the mainstream is us. Guys, we are vapors. We do make a difference. This came from about 20 people over a month. If we as a little group can do this, imagine what all of you can do. Exactly. Stefan, we appreciate what you do, bro. I so totally appreciate what you've been doing because I know you've put a lot of effort into this. You try? Oh, you did fucking well. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sure. Well, actually, there's not a whole lot more that, that I can tell here. And um, I promise not to bore everybody. So, last words. No more casualties.org. Check out the website. Check out the campaign. And understand one thing, this is all of your campaign. We will provide you with all of the content for free. Wherever you can use it, wherever you can place it, we will provide you with what you need. And thank you very much for your attention.